ruler of the nation 2009 champion, WEF world number four, and of course the Harley Pool champion 2009. But uh, Neil Pickup needs very, very little introduction. Hailing from Blackburn, Lancashire, here in the UK, he is the founder of the Freak Shop and has been arm wrestling since 1992 and is a 26-time and reigning British national champion on both the left and right arm. And as they square off in the uh, beautiful sunshine here on the beach in Mallorca, but you know, the wind is sort of uh, blowing across there, you can hear it in the background. As you can see, Ryan is a bit of a bull of a man and he's definitely the larger of the two. But uh, that sort of favors Neil. Neil is really, really keen on facing power men. He likes to look for the chinks in their armor. They rely on their power, uh, but Neil is so technically experienced that he can pull so many tools into play. Okay, here we go for the first pull. And Ryan didn't even see that coming. Look, the speed of Neil Pickup getting the first pin in the match. Unbelievable. Speed worked. Thank God, he feels ridiculously strong. He's fast. We'll go faster this time. I know he's strong, but I know he's susceptible. Yep, yep, very different angle. Change things up a bit. So there you go, a bit of analysis from uh, both sides. Ryan saying he's fast, but uh, we'll go faster. Referee for this match is Keith Taylor, who's been wearing the stripes while he was recovering from an injury, but is now back in action himself and uh, you'll be seeing him on the International Arm Wrestling and throughout the Arm Roll Super Series from here on in. So, shaping up for round two. Neil Pickup, 1-0 so far. And both guys have stopped it. Neil has turned it into... Oh, break for the strap. That was a real, real counter at that particular point. It looked like it could strong. go any way. Neil was heading towards getting no, his top roll right in place, but then they broke and off they go into the strap. Now, again, this might worry Neil uh, a little bit because um, the strap does tend to favor the power man. So Neil has to bring every single tool in his armory into play on this one to counter the strength that uh, Ryan Clark is going to bring into this pull on the strap. A little looser, mate, because that's going to kill me. That's six rounds to go. Oh, my God. Neil asking for the strap a little bit looser. As you can hear the wind blowing around here from this beach in Mallorca. The sun beating down, and of course that saps the strength as well, you know, having the sun beating down on your head. <laughs> my arm's gone dead, but other than that, I'm great. Neil saying his arm's gone dead, but he's feeling great. Aha, uh -huh. okay, here we go. Round two of this battle. Fat ball up for the strap. Wrist. The wrist. There go. And there we go. And Ryan is pulling away, but Neil's managed to stop him. Neil has stopped him. And he's putting him over onto his top row position. Neil's actually got him in a very good situation there. He's comfortable playing to the cameras, but the second pin. Never in the ground. Never in the ground. And that's why I'm a bad man. Never in the ground. I'm not going to hold him around with him anymore. When that went Ryan's way there, he gave me some. Man is strong as hell in the arm. I gotta run, I gotta run. I gotta try and think smart. Try and run. Use your techniques, but remember, it's never over. You might be in a bad position, you might be in a bad shape. Dig it out. Grit down, dig it out. It's not over. We've seen that many times from Neil Pickup. He's been in bad positions, but he does manage to grit it down. He manages to pull himself out of that position. But uh, as you saw from that last one, the strap did favor the power man. Ryan had to start, but Neil managed to stop him. And the moment he was stopped, Neil could bring his other armory into play. And uh, consequently, that brings it to 2-0 for Neil Pickup so far. Neil saying that Ryan's got an unbelievable grip. But then if you look at the build on Ryan Clark, it's not so hard to imagine. And here we go. And we break once again into the straps.
actually, Neil is actually known as, as he's, he's got an incredibly strong wrist. So he's, he's a master technician as well, and he's seeing that performance here today because he's faced with a very strong competitor, but he's not letting the power intimidate him at all. He's bringing his own little tricks into play, looking for the chinks in the armor in, in Ryan Clark, and actually, so far, pulling it off incredibly well. But once again, in the strap, that favors the power man. Neil has to pull something out of the bag for this one to make it 3-0. Sorry. Oh, and there we go, but Neil is on the attack with the speed. He's managing to pull Ryan Clark straight up. Now Ryan's doing all he can to recover from that position, but Neil is not letting it go. Neil is in a situation where he, he can take his time. Ryan's trying hard to counter Neil's top row position, but it's not working at all. Neil is in a really good position here, and he brings the pan down to the pad, and he yeah, gets the pin. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. So there we go, as we see from the hit. Neil is in the position from goal. And as you can see, Neil has it all the way. He knows that he's not going to let Ryan beat him out of that position. Ryan's in a really uncomfortable position. You can see the wrist is almost bent double backwards, but Neil takes it down to the pad, making it 3 0. Mm. I'm energized in the Mallorca sunshine. Energized. Oh, yes. You leave your wrist there, I will bust it. Energized in the Mallorca sunshine. Of course, we know that. Uh, the solar energy can boost your levels, but it'll also drain you. And these guys have been out in the sun with no shelter for a long time over this weekend of the Island Law competition. And that's starting to tell on some of them. But Neil pick up in a great position at the moment, 3-0 up. Ryan Clark having to pull something out of the bag if he wants to try and bring this to a draw position. And there we go, and both guys really holding it just in the middle, but it's a break, and we go once again into the straps. So far, the theory about the strap being, uh, being of benefit to the stronger competitor hasn't held up here, because uh, Neil is managing to work the chinks in the armor of Ryan Clark every single time. But Ryan knows that this time, if he is going to pull a draw, he has to get this one. There is no excuse. He must get this one in the bag to go at least 3-3 with uh, Neil Pickup if he can hold it up. But uh, Neil 3-0 up at the moment and heading possibly for the winning pin. And there we go, long, no hesitation. Wow, what a pull from Neil Pickup. That gives him the winning pin for Neil. Look at the speed here. Wham, straight to the pad. Neil did not give Ryan a second chance to do anything on that one. Straight to the pad. Neil pickups up 4-0. Oh, he would go on that way and just shove straight. He'll get yeah. on his bone and just yeah. shove him through the table. Yeah, shove him through the table. Yeah, yeah. his bicep almost opened the wall going Yeah, it almost opened up. Yeah. Uh, so hard angle on him. Yeah, just to be exact. You know, Ryan Clark getting some tips from Monster Michael Todd, who's faced Neil Pickup before, who knows some of Neil's game plays, who knows Neil's strengths and weaknesses. So I don't know whether that's going to be of any benefit to Ryan here now, but uh, whatever happens, Ryan now is 4-0 down, so he has to pull something for pride more than anything. So here we go, set up for round number five. Oh, a little bit of consternation in the grip there, I'm not quite totally comfortable. Uh, uh, you okay? Yeah. Tell me where you're comfortable, I'm okay. I'm sort of silver bullet now, I've got my move and that's what I'm going to go for, I ain't got no power. Like. Camaraderie on the table, always good to see. Yeah. And there we go, Ryan really right. going for it, but Neil stopped him and again they split and go for the straps. Out. 
Okay, so we're in the straps for round five. Once again, theoretically, should Go. favor the power man, and Ryan goes for it. He knows full well that for pride, he has to get this one down to the pad if he can, but Neil says no. Neil is pulling his top roll into position. He is battling the power like you wouldn't believe. Neil is not going to let this one go. He gets it down the pad, making it 5 nil so far. He's here, Neil. Yeah, yeah. As soon as he got it, he's back in the pad. Yeah, yeah. Back in the pad. Give me instructions on when to hit him. Oh, he's good. Yeah. Here comes the hit hole boom. That's what he that's what he wanted to. We're on title of smacking folks, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just can't He got me out of position so fast I can't even put on the cover. He's got too much pressure on me. Too fast. He's too fast. I mean, he takes a different angle than a normal top. Yeah. Ball, you know what I'm saying? Because his short arm short and he's got that tiny little hand. You think I'm going to kill this dude. Right. And he goes, oh. Yeah. So there you have it. Ryan says he's got too much pressure. He knows that he's too fast. Neil is too fast. Michael Todd confirming it. So far, it's 5 0. Will Michael, uh, sorry, will Neil make it 6 0? Here we go for the final round in this competition. Referee Keith Taylor squaring him up for the final time. And straight to the straps. I wouldn't be surprised if that wasn't a little bit intentional, actually, from uh, from Ryan. But Ryan does not want to go back to Kansas City, Missouri with a 6-0 loss against him, so he wants to try and recover something back here. So that would have made a bit of tactical sense, as opposed to slip to the straps at that point, so at least he knows this last one is going to be an even battle. The power man being favored in this particular strap match. Okay. We're ready to go for round six of this heavyweight left arm battle here in the Mallorca sunshine. And here we go, and Ryan knows he has to go for it. He is giving everything. Neil is desperately trying to hold on, desperately trying to turn it around and bring it back, but no. Ryan Clark makes it 5-1 here in Mallorca. And if you look on the replay from the off, Ryan was determined to get this arm down. There's absolutely no way he was going to go back to Kansas City with a 6-0 loss. So Ryan pulls one back here in Mallorca. 5-1. Woo! It's on. Woo! I went for 6-0 and I got nailed on the last one.